Welcome to Affairs in Order with Gigi. I'm Gigi and on today's video I'm just going to jump straight in because um, I will be doing our debt confession. Um, the My overall debt picture is a printout, a free printout from the Budget Mom. So let's get to Let's get started with this. <sighs> y'all. As y'all saw the title of my video, the shame is absolutely real. I am nervous. Um, <laughs> I may be a little emotional. So, the first debt that I have, we have, is our Apple credit card. The balance on this card, now we've been paying off debt since we started our channel in July. So the starting balances on these were a lot higher. So we're just gonna start with the balance as of right now. Let me zoom you guys in a little closer so y'all can see. Okay. The balance on the Apple card is $1,961.89. The interest rate is 17.99%. The minimum payment is 27. Our next is Capital One. And this is the Walmart card. And the balance on this card is 2473 dollars and 89 cent and this is 18.99 percent the minimum payment on this one is 82 dollars the next one and I know I'm writing on a slant and I will straighten it up for you guys the next is another capital one this is the Quicksilver, and the balance on this one is two thousand six oh one thirty eight, and this one is also eighteen point nine nine percent, with a minimum payment of eighty four. We have a Founders card, and that balance is four thousand six forty seven oh two, and that interest rate is fourteen point nine nine percent. And the minimum payment on that card is $90. Next, we have our MX, our American Express. And the balance on that is eight. There's no interest on this card. The payments are one fifteen. And then we have a Care Credit MasterCard. And this one is mostly medical. And this is thirteen thousand 
291 24 and this is 13.89 percent with a minimum payment of 235 now these are our credit cards um, the next thing this is all of our debt is our mortgage and the balance on our mortgage is thirty thousand seven seventy one and seventy two percent four percent the payment is three ninety fifty seven now I'm gonna let you guys see all this while I add it all up so I'm gonna zoom you guys back out just a little bit all right we have 1961 89 13,291.24 our mortgage 30,771 and our total debt is $6,000 312.02. So let me write this total $62,312.02. Now, how are we going to do this and what are our plans? Well, we are not going to do the snowball. We actually have been focusing on the Capital One cards because they are our highest interest. So I guess in a sense that you would say we're doing, and y'all, I have black ink everywhere from a Sharpie that uh, popped in my hand. Um, we will be doing more so of an avalanche method instead of a um, snowball method. The Capital One Walmart will be our first priority. The Capital One Quicksilver will be our second. The third priority will be the Apple. And then we will be going to the American Express because this 0% interest ends um, in April of next year. So we want to go ahead and get that out of the way so we don't have to pay any interest on that. So this will be number four. So we're kind of jumping around a little bit, but um, I don't want to have to pay interest on this amount. So that's why that one's coming. Then founders will be number five. Care credit will be number six. And the last thing will be our mortgage number seven so 
every month I put $150 on each of these cards and I put $350 on the care credit. Now, what is sad about this situation is I am double covered with insurance and this is still a good majority of out-of-pocket expenses. I know that me having insurance is an absolute blessing. Me being double covered is a tremendous blessing. So I can't imagine how people who have no insurance and have no credit to be able to put anything on a credit card are surviving. Something has to be done. That is, that is an awful situation. I will not let money control me. We don't use these credit cards and we haven't since starting this channel. Um, but I'm taking control back. I'm not letting money control me. I am going to control money. My husband and I are controlling our money. And the first thing we did in controlling our money is to make a budget and stick to it. I used to think that budget was a nasty, dirty word. Always. Until I started watching uh, Salisa from Beautifully Me and You. Um, just seeing Busy Lizzie's Budgets watching the aesthetic dollar, watching budgets by Jada, um, baddies and budgets, like all these things started popping up in my, um, on my recommendations after I watched Salisa's video. And I binged all those videos and just watched and watched and watched. And seeing those folks, those folks, Salisa, Emily, Liz from Busy Lizzie's Budget, Jada, Budget Treasures, those folks have made such an impact in my life. And I realized that a budget is what you make it. And it doesn't mean restriction. And you can still do things. And I can't wait until I can sit here with you guys and check these paid off, paid off, paid off. Also, I printed off the credit card debt trackers that I'm going to fill out for our credit cards and color these in. I've got the, um, the, hold on, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, I have six of these. And I will um, keep you guys updated with how our progress is going. And when I said this was going to be a roller coaster, I um, I said ups and downs. And y'all, this is a down, this is kind of a down video for me. But I know you guys are going to be here. I know you guys are going to watch and you're going to support me and I know
that you guys will be sending me love. And that's what's going to help me get through this daunting task. And I thank you. And I appreciate you. I know people have less debt. I know people have more debt. Oh. That number is like a slap in the face to me. I'm so sad over that number. It's like real. You can play mind games with yourself. Oh yeah, I'll do this. Not that bad. It's not that bad. But once you write it down and you see it, man, oh man. I'm taking control back. I'm taking control back. Right now. Right this minute. So guys. Please. Please just send me your love. Send me a, send me a happy face in the comments below to cheer me up. Send me some flower emojis. Guys, if you would, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, friends.